We're here to talk about a global registration trial, the first global trial for a cell therapy. So CAR T cells are engineered T cells which can potentially attack cancer. They've been in development for a number of years and we've seen significant clinical results in single institution trials for about five years. Um, these therapies are now moving toward um, approval by the US FDA and we hope by EMA in the EU uh, at some point after that. And so in order to do that, we had to take the trial out of a single institution context and make it work for multiple centers. So this trial was 25 centers across the world, 11 different countries, multiple countries in the EU that uh, contributed patients to this trial, treating patients with relapsed refractory ALL in the pediatric and young adult group. So these were very high risk patients and we were essentially asking the question, what does the results look like in a multi-center trial? Do they look similar to a single center trial? And can we do this safely? And the answer to all those questions is that it worked out great. From an efficacy standpoint, the initial complete response rate is 82% in these patients. Um, and then the overall survival in these patients at six months is 89%. So we're very happy about how that worked out from an efficacy standpoint. It looks very similar to the uh, uh, single institution trials. Safety, we were very concerned about the toxicity of cytokine release syndrome. We had an intensive training program. There were a lot of back and forth with the uh, various physicians in the trials, both in, the, in, the, in Europe and in the United States. And we were able to deliver this with outstanding safety, control this toxicity called cytokine release syndrome, and there were no deaths in the trial associated with CRS. So I would say that both from an efficacy standpoint and a safety standpoint, the global registration trial worked out very well.